see how I got this hair color and yeah um I made this big myself y'all I have in this is the longest hair I've ever had it go like way hold on I'm on the wall sitting like this <laughs> it goes way like to my like my hips this is 26 24 22 with a 20 inch frontal y'all longest bundles of hair I've ever had <laughs> I made this wig myself. I did it the lazy girl method. I did it the hot glue gun method. Um, I'll be doing a video on that shortly. But yeah, I love this hair. I love how soft it feels like. I straightened it out after I colored it and all that, of course. It feels so good. So you want to start off by getting some T-pins. You can find T-pins at your local beauty, beauty supply store. And I just placed like about five T-pins all around the frontal of the hair because you want to make sure it's secured while working on your wig when dying. And so then I use my Salon Care Prism Lights Blue Bleach and I get about two scoops and I put it in a mixing bowl. <laughs> that was my sister who ran across there. Anyways, then I use my Salon Care 40 Developer and I pour that in the bowl as well and I mix it up until I got a good, you know, consistency. Then I section out the hair and I start applying the bleach at the bottom and I work my way up to the top. And like basically I'm doing a whole ombre effect because I want my ends to be the lightest out of this whole, you know, situation I'm working on. So yeah, and you want to make sure you're doing this like precise and very consistent because you don't want no like weirdness going on. So make sure you're coating every strand and you're going section by section just like how I'm doing right now. I found it easier to uh, just grab the uh, bleach out of the bowl and put it on my hands and just work work it up instead of using the brush. But yeah, this is me just con concentrating on the ends, you know. <laughs> then that's the hair done with the ombre. That is stage one. Then I go in with my ion color. I use cayenne, cayenne, and. I use that for like basically like the middle half of the hair and then I this is where I kind of messed up this is so unnecessary I use conditioner and developer in the bowl for it and then I use azure for the ends of the hair it's like a mint green kind of color but guys don't add no conditioner or developer just use just straight the bottle like it will bring out the color a lot more so you'll see I had to go in and do it another time because the color wasn't like uh i guess not vibrant enough it wasn't bold enough i guess that's the word but this is me just working it in i used that first color that i show you guys right there in the middle because i wanted it to go from like black to blue to like a green that's what i was going for but that's me trying to do all that but like i told y'all i kind of screwed up with adding in the conditioner and developer should never did none of that mess this part basically was a mistake but this is how I got the color I got, so I might as well just, you know, show y'all what I just did. <laughs> so 
So yeah, I was trying to brush it out to make sure I coated every strand. And I like was trying to use all up all the blue because I really wanted it to be blue, but I messed up by diluting it with conditioner. I took away from the color. So then I let that sit for a whole day, hoping that it will change. And this is what we got. This is why I said it was a fail. So I was like, darn. So I went back to Sally's y'all and I got me some Ion Color Brilliance. And uh, I got that in the aqua blue color. And I put that all where it was just not taking the color. I put that basically all in the middle of the hair. The ends took well, it's, it was like a green color. So I was just really focusing on the middle. And I just did it section by section, make sure I coat the heck out of this hair. Coating it up. And I didn't add no conditioner or no developer. It's just straight the color. And so that's what I learned. When I'm doing these colors, I don't need to add in all that extra. I just it's use straight the bottle. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a living. You live and you learn. You know, I'm learning and I'm growing. But, yeah, so basically just add in the color. Uh, make sure to work it in. And make sure you coat every strand so you don't have a random brown piece in the middle of your head. So then here's me just trying to make sure every piece is coated and that's it. Thank you guys. Anyways, yeah, so this is the final look of the hair y'all and I love it. I love how soft this hair feels. I just love the, I love the outcome of this color. Even though it didn't come out exactly how I wanted, I'm still satisfied. So yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys a 360. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you guys check out Ali Annabella hair. All links will be all down below in the description box, okay? Uh yeah guys, I guess I'll catch you guys in my next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah.